Ryan and Clay, and today we are in Avondale, Arizona, just outside Phoenix, Arizona, and we are at Blue Compass RV, formerly known as Tom's Camperland, and we're going to look at an Alliance. This is the 281BH. This is a travel trailer. This is new to them, so let's go check it out. Okay, so as we start up front, look at how tall this storage is, Lisa. I love it. This and is, and what is that? That is a table. It's a six foot table for using outside. Nice. Right? I love having a storage place for that. Yep, That's and, perfect. And look at sort of all the utilities right here too. Your cable hookup, there's power, there's a spray port, USB charging, awning switch here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, very nice. All right, so you got a lipid solid step. There are two entries we'll show you from the inside. As you look up, there's an awning that starts right on the other side of this door and goes all the way down to the end, which by the way, this is a 2024. Um, it, it's 48 grand. Now let's just call that $49,000. It's 2024, all right? As we keep on moving forward, here's the main entrance, another lipid solid step. Okay. Very nice. Asdell siding. Love this outdoor kitchen, Lisa. You got a nice mini fridge, but look at this. You've got a griddle and a grill. Oh, nice. I love that combination. Yeah, me too. Very nice. All right, as we come around to the back, <laughs> look at this. Climb and dry oversized ladder. So <laughs> it's a ladder and a drying rack. <laughs> By the way, there's also another spray port here. So you can hook that up to the back. You also have a utility hitch. Uh, it is pre-wired for a backup camera and your power connection is right back here. Very nice. As we come around to the side, um, this is manual stabilization. So there's your manual stabilization jack right there. Obviously there's four of them. Um, here is one of your sewer connections right there. Here's a nice extra storage compartment for storing things. Love Very that. Nice. Yeah. Make use of all the space. Love it, love it, love it. And as we come forward here, here is another sort of utility bay. We showed you there was some stuff over there, but here's where your water goes. And as you see where your, your water connects, there's a drip tray right here, okay? I would like to maybe see, I, I don't know, it walled off or something. Um, I know they want a full open thing here, but um, there's also a chuck. Oh, look I at that. I think this, this, this is, uh, works on your jacks. So they include a chuck that you can put on, on your drill very Isn't nice. Isn't that neat? Yes. All right, let's get a look at the, the weight on this sucker. So this is a gross vehicle weight of 8,850 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity not to exceed 1,686 pounds. Wow. Not 85 or 87, but 1,686 to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> As we come around to the front, you have two 20-pound protein panks, an electric jack, your battery connections are right here. You got a spot for two batteries. Right, so uh, nice. let's go look inside. Okay, so uh, when you first come in, as you see, there are two theater chairs. And so these are uh, part electric, part manual. So the, the pullout is manual for reclining, but there's some electric features here. You can charge your devices. You have four cup holders, one, two, three, and four. And the arm here in the middle raises so you can put stuff in there, okay? Very nice. Directly across from us is your entertainment area. Um, you have a uh, storage up above. Oh, right? yeah, okay. And this being uh, glass, you could probably put your uh, uh, receivers up there or anything like that for yeah, cable. Yeah, I would think so. Big, big storage here. Oh, yeah. With pull out. Very nice. All right. Big one here as well. And then you got a couple doors down here. Here's your, your panel. And of course, some extra storage. But what does the TV say? Behind storage. Okay, so let's. Let's, we probably have to open this up, so let's open this up. Yeah, so come over here. Look at that. There's more storage back there. Oh, wow, that's nice. Right, now, of course, yeah. the TV can swivel the other way, this way, Lisa, too, uh -huh. so you can get access to this. So look at that, just making use of all the space. Very nice. I love that. Yeah, me too. All right, so then we move over here. We have a traditional sort of U-shaped uh, dinette which does convert to be a bed. Mm -hmm. um, just so everybody knows, uh, if it's the first time you're watching our videos, I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference. So if I get in here, I could just chill. Ah, look at that, y'all. <laughs> so there's plenty of room. I could swivel that TV over right there. 
and I am just chilling like a villain. <laughs> anyway, uh, so there you go. I, as of course, as I pull everything off trying to get down, though. <laughs> I didn't tell y'all I was clumsy, did I? <laughs> uh, there is storage underneath uh, on Very both nice. sides that goes all the way through. And I'm quite sure since these come off, this will lift up as well from here. Okay. So then we have the kitchen. Yes. What's in here, Lisa? Yes, well, we have a little um, L-shaped kitchen. Kind of just looks a lot like ours, it to be does. honest. Except for... They've got the extension. They have the You know, extension. how hard is that to put that there? I don't know. I mean, does, uh, you, you, what you kind of cost is involved in that? You would think something like that would be really easy, but ours just doesn't have I know. It. Yeah. Brand design, come on, man. You, just, you need know. to put that in there. Right? I'm just saying. So anyway, we've got a large single basin sink with a tall faucet. We have a power outlet here. Um, decent size counter space. I believe these drawers are wider than ours. Yeah, what's this, um, by the way, before we go any further? Oh, yeah, 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 look at that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Right. And then there's a couple more drawers. Since you're into the drawers, we'll go ahead and finish looking at those. Um, a drawer underneath the stove with your microwave glass. Um, we do have a three burner stove. Nice. Right, with an oven. A little mini oven, yeah. We have overhead. Greystone microwave. Greystone microwave with some storage overhead. There we go. And then we have storage cabinets here as well. This that goes, goes all, all the way back. Yeah. yeah. And they're soft clothes too. Look at that. Love that. And then storage here. Now we uh, got a little carried away so I didn't show this. Um, oh, storage. look at that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So everybody, would you rather have that trash or would you rather be able to store some, you know, bigger things, cleaning things or, you know, whatever down there? Let us know in the comments below if you like this sort of hidden trash. Or would you just put your trash can right there? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Lisa? You know, I, you know, I could probably go either way because this is really deep storage here. So you could it probably is. put your pots and pans right there underneath yeah. the stove. Mm -hmm. um, I could go either way with that. It is really nice having the trash there that's that's hidden, that's not in the way. Yeah, it's true. That's true. All so right. that is nice. And then we have our refrigerator freezer. Which is 12 volt, everybody. Yes. And it looks like Some more storage up top. Storage nice. overhead, yep. as well as below. Storage below. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. So this is the BH, BH standing for bunkhouse. So as you come in, of course, this is where we came in. Your control panel is right there for putting out slides and your lights and all that stuff. But you also have bunks. Now there's an individual curtain for each bunk, all right? And you know, I, I know you guys like to, in a ladder built in, and I know you guys like to see me crawl on these things. So here we go. Oh my good Lord. Okay, so my head is touching the wall, <laughs> so um, at my height, probably not good, um, but you know, I just, I'm, I'm in, <laughs> but so my feet I, are going to be sticking out. I think a normal, normal height human would be a... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Would be fine absolutely. <laughs> but at least that gives you an idea at my height of six foot four that, you know, what it looks like. Okay, there you have it. All right, so let's see. Oh! You know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Uh, All right, so at my height of six foot four, as you can see, this is a great position for this porcelain foot flush toilet. Plenty of leg room, plenty of shoulder room, definitely. All right, directly across from me is a nice corner sink. Um, what it kind of like, look, Lisa, this place for your bar of soap and, and your toothbrushes right I like there. That, yeah. It's kind of neat, right? It is, yeah. And then all this little uh, countertop space over here. It's, it's amazing how much this little countertop means to people. And I can tell you because we have it in ours. And so many that we see, it's cut off here. Yes. But we, we use this extra countertop space a lot. Yes, we do. Okay. All of our clothes when we're taking a shower. Yeah. Our, yeah, your razors. We have bins up and... here for stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then there's nice uh, storage down here. Now, we don't have doors on ours. No. And so we have to have these rods to help hold everything in. Yes. I like the fact that there's doors here, Lisa. I like that as well. And then let's not forget underneath here as well. And that's full storage. Oh, that's There's, awesome. The drain's a little bit in the way right there, but it's pretty good. But that's a drain. A drain's yeah. always going to be like it that. It is stainless steel. Very Let's not nice. forget that. 
And then we do have a full height mirror, guys. So, geez, I, I can see everything. That's awesome. And it's big for all them big drug bottles. Okay. <laughs> Over here behind the toilet, you've got an area to put your towels. Yeah, I swear, it's just, just really, it's like deja, deja it vu. It really is. Right? Yeah. Even the shower has my favorite door. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. So imagine if this was glass. You, you, you have to sort of, you know, shimmy to get in. I love the retractable. It keeps all the water in, um, and it's just out of your way. So if yours doesn't have that, it's a simple upgrade. We actually did a video um, on this. It's uh, I'll, I'll link it uh, somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> all right, so if I'm not in the bubble, as you can see, my head is just touching. But look, the bubble is the entire shower. This is one of the few showers I've ever been in that there's a bubble the entire width of the shower. I have no restrictions at all. There's lots of width. And so even though there is a shelf up here, um, Lisa, this doesn't get in my way. Um, some of the showers we've been in are kind of narrow and I'm pressed up against the shelf. Not here. Definitely a great shower. All right, so interestingly enough, a, a, a countertop change in here, right? Oh, so yeah. you have black epoxy countertops, which actually open up uh, for hidden storage on either side. Well, look at that, isn't that cool? Right, yeah. there's power and USB on both sides. Um, there are also drawers here, okay? Um, above, there's hanging cabinet here. This comes out if you need to use it as a hanging, but if you don't want to use it for hanging, they've included which a little challenging to get it in there everybody because of the the shape it's curved so it's a little challenging to get it in but it goes in so if you don't want to use hanging you can use shelf space very okay? nice above there's some more storage as well and it's a pass through all the way to the other side very got a nice. nice sort of padded carpeted headboard uh, some little pin lights for reading at night and let's not forget there's a separate entrance here there is which i absolutely love for yeah. coming and going at night so you don't have to wake up the people that are in the bunks um there's also if you want to mount a tv right over there lisa um there's a backer already in place again it's just like our rv it's it like is. it's our floor and you've plan you've got your, your hookups and everything there yeah. as well yeah so guys alliance right so uh they've been known for fifth wheels and they've just started producing travel trailers so uh let us know what you think about this floor plan Again, the 281 BH, I believe it was uh, called. Oh, um, up again, I'm sorry, yeah, guys. Remember. It's the mad cow. <laughs> it's, just, it's the mad cow. Yes, 281 BH. <laughs> Let us know what you think of this, guys, all right? Um, for all the new people finding us for the first time, you know what to do, right? Thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan, okay? It costs you nothing, and it really does help out the channel a lot, and we would sincerely appreciate it. As far as the Tall Man Clan goes, God bless you guys. Thank you for sticking with, uh, sticking with us through thick and thin. And until we see you all again, be safe.